Okay, guys, we are back with my camera. I have fixed my camera. My lighting is awful right now, but of course I'm not in London. But I have fixed my camera, so the microphone, everything attached. You are getting isolated audio again. Thank the Lord, because we were struggling, child. But anyways, let's get into this where Diddy, things are going on. Bieber, things are going on, and I want to break into it. Hey, guys, it's Marab Morali. Hopefully, you guys are all doing well today. Back at again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button, guys. It is daily and consistent content. Comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. And let's get straight into this video. An odd video of a Bieber was seen with Jaden Smith, where Jaden was kind of, you know, holding him, rocking him back and forth, somewhat grinding him, and then they're kissing each other on the cheeks quite intimately. mean two things they have been friends for a very very long time and they are just comfortable within their spaces comfortable within their sexualities whatever it may be i know Jaden, i believe is bi i don't believe justin Bieber is from what he claims and perhaps they're just having fun as friends and it's nothing more than just being friendly with each other because it could just very well be that but given the nature of everything going on with diddy and how so many men and women are coming out with lawsuits and how there's been allegations for many a long time of Bieber being passed around and used and odd videos of Bieber with Diddy. I would not be surprised if Jaden was passed in around in some kind of way like this or people attempted to pass him around and that, you know, this therefore... Um, not really causes a confusion in your sexuality. It causes hypersexualization. Um, it causes, you know, attachments at early ages. And therefore, you create these, you know, intense bonds with people. And perhaps Bieber and Justin had a fling or situation. People can be very fluid, very fluid. It could be either or, guys. I don't know, but the internet is discussing it because somebody caught them at an award show, obviously, just being very intimate. So it really could just could be either or, guys. And I think it's important to put both to put both um, different perspectives out there. Diddy was seen yet again with his mum and she is rocking that Party City wig. where they are both chilling on a bench and it looks like something out of a drone or helicopter is monitoring him. To me, that is intriguing. I wouldn't be surprised if the FBI, CIA, federal government agents and the paparazzi have some kind of relationship and that, you know, the paparazzi can track these people down um, and just monitor them. I would not be surprised because for them to be tracking Diddy in this way, he did look initially frustrated, but then he was putting on a brave face, which I don't think is um, genuine at all. I think he's just putting on this face. Now, from what it looks like, a worker, an S worker has come forth to discuss, um, you know, things going on about almost being trafficked by Diddy. And that's traumatic. Like, I was getting beat up at a, at a point in time. I'm like, I might as well have a pimp, you know? And baby daddies do be acting like pimps because they want everything from you and they don't want you to have nothing. We're going to go to Cuba. So the girls start talking in the house and they're like, girl, I got to get back home. And he said that I can't leave. And I'm like, well, what is he going to do with us? It is a very vicious story, guys. And it's very triggering for those of you who, you know, want to listen to it or not. Some celebrities' house, and we ended up at P. Diddy's house. And I just started hearing conversations, and I just got sex trafficking from it. Because, you know, I heard the prince saying something like, oh, you can have whoever you want. Like, he was, like, selling us, you know? I don't like nobody saying I can't leave, you know, when I want to. Like, if I get, got to get back to L.A., handle some business. And how, you know... Things were going on. People were taking advantage of her. She was a runaway as well. Like, you know, how the cycle of, of abuse continued and how, you know, there was um, an attempt of trying to get her trafficked through Diddy. Now, this story to me is very triggering because I too was trafficked at a young age. But when I had my whole scandal come out publicly a year and a half ago, I was blamed, not the grown men who were passing me around. And to this day, people still are angry at me or upset with me, but they're not angry with the grown men who were drug me 
R word me, lock me in rooms, do vicious things to me, make them say things to them that for some reason um, turn them on, whatever. I don't know what. I just need to get away from my own abusers. And maybe one day I will tell my story at a full extent. I did see other workers be put in horrific positions. Well, I assume they were, but I'm from what they've told me. And, you know, they were powerless. And I don't know where they are today. They could be dead, left, right, center. They could be still homeless. They could be in vicious places. And you have men like Diddy who are so powerful. And it's not just him. Many other men in the industry or not in the industry, any industry, who, you know, do stuff like this. It's just a very dark-seated place. I don't really want to talk about it right now because it's already mentally taking me back there with my PTSD. And that's why it's very hard to... Um, get into this conversation. I don't know when I'm gonna do this video, but I need to do a long video, like 40, 50 minutes discussing everything um, in a more relaxed way. But like, I don't even wanna get and go into this myself because I'm already finding it triggering, but there's so much to being trafficked and passed around by grown people. Um, they're not gonna go for young rich kids. They go for those who are broke and homeless. They're gonna exploit the shit out of you and then either kill you or they're going to keep you homeless in some position or you're going to be scarred mentally. And it's happening all over the world. And it's not just S trafficking, it's also organ trafficking as well. And also it's both. From what I've heard, I know somebody um, through, you know, from what I've heard that they get S trafficked. And then um, what they would do is once they've been S trafficked and they're sedated, they then drug them and kill them and take their organs and sell them on and make money. So it's like your entire body is being used 24 seven and it's vicious, it's disgusting. I, I don't think people are ready for the conversations or the stories that I have or even the shit that I've been through. And you've already seen a mere fraction and the way the world treated me, victimizing the sex traffickers, is insane like I, to this day i'm just like how do people even do that like i just don't understand ain't nobody gonna be questioning why these 40 year old men were passing like I, anyways um i feel for her i feel for her story and i you know it's sad that she's come out um to discuss this it's very triggering for those who've been through things that are similar to this and i didn't want to make light of this conversation which is why i'm slowing down my speech and i'm just kind of really taking it in uh, I'm going to end the video now because I really did not want to talk about this because the PTSD that I have right now is kicking. But, you know, one day I will do it in my own time. I keep saying that, but I really will be in my own time because the way I'm just slowing down. Jason Derulo has come out as a new defender in Hollywood and said that Diddy is innocent and should not be persecuted by the public until all the facts are in and they're just not in yet. Well, plethora of lawsuits are in with details and the lawsuits don't come from nowhere and he's settled some of these lawsuits. So that in itself speaks volumes. Speaks volumes. Cassie working with the federal agents speaks volumes. So if Diddy, if Jason Derulo thinks that Diddy's innocent, Go and sit down with Cassie and have a conversation and let's see what you think afterwards. Subscribe, comment down below, give this video a thumbs up. Cassie doesn't need to have a conversation with you. If you don't believe, Cassie, you're an idiot. Subscribe and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.